it's hard to really describe a culture, but in many ways we can provide some general attributes of what a culture looks like and feels like. And we can share those attributes as ways of behaving and ways of acting and ways of being without being too dogmatic about this is the culture and therefore if you're in or you're out. One of the models we've used over the years to help organizations articulate their culture is the thinking path. The basic concept is that an organization produces results which are based upon the actions, which are the behaviors, the ways of working, the procedures, and the ways of really moving through the organization, which are based upon the feelings of that organization, which are based upon its fundamental assumptions and beliefs. What we also look at is this notion of reinforcers. Within the organization, there are a series of reinforcers that drive the thinking, and those reinforcers are very important to understand. And we've used this to help map current states and desired states. What is the current state of the culture and what are the desired state of the culture and get to the core of those fundamental assumptions and beliefs, which are at the basis of the thinking path. Cultures evolve and change over time and they, and they, and, and they morph. And there needs to be room for that to happen. At least with the clients we've worked with, there's an evolution to culture.